right. In this next topic, it seems like customers are not satisfied with EV home charging. It seems like another study was just came out and uh, it seems like people that charge at home might have uh, be going down on their satisfaction rate. So we'll take a look at it and we'll look at the reasons why. And I think I know exactly what they're talking about because I'm kind of essentially going through this same exact thing. We just had the home charger got set up. It was all set up in dandy, but I'm starting to look at how much all this stuff actually costs, especially in California. And it, it starts to add up just a little bit. It's not free or zero at like, but I mean, of course you're not, you shouldn't think of that at all because like Electricity is just another natural resource and it costs money as well. But if you're just running it, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best United Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. So let us uh, jump into this. In, shout out to Inside EVs. Study reveals falling satisfaction with home charging experience. And so if you take a look at this, uh, this was uh, stood out to me. The study says that 68% of vehicle owners use a perfectly use a permanently home charging setup at home. Okay, that's a pretty high rate actually. It's almost what three out of four, give or take. Uh, almost three out of four people actually charge at home. So that's that's a pretty high number because getting a level two charger like a juice box or a wall box or even a Tesla level two charger, you know that uh, that costs money. I mean. We have spent almost fourteen hundred dollars getting installed, like in that, and our box is right next to the charging location. Of course, these charging boxes, Tesla sells one for four hundred and twenty-five dollars. Wall box is six fifty. Juice box also six fifty. So that can add a lot of it, and really can eat into some gas savings. But the study measured home charging satisfaction for individual chargers in eight areas: fairness of retail price, cord length, size of charger, ease of winding and storage cable, cost of charging, charging charging speed, ease of use, and reliability. But it says that the 2023 study finds that EV owners of the 2022 and 2023 model EVs are less satisfied with their charging speed, 605 and 6597 respectively, than owners of 201 model EVs. So maybe this is just like an expectation error, right? Because maybe people don't necessarily know that charging at home is not that fast. But I mean, I guess maybe the framework has to be rewritten because yes, you don't have to drop by a gas station and spend the five to 10 minutes filling up or even potentially waiting in line there. But when you get home, you can just charge while you sleep and then your car would be ready to go the next day. But of course, the probably the one thing that uh, really has been irking on my mind, uh, we're well, not irking, but uh, you start to understand more is like the cost of electricity. Like most places across the country, probably you're, you're paying five cents a kilowatt, 10 cents a kilowatt, maybe even 20 cents a kilowatt. But in California, pretty much the starting point is 20 cents a kilowatt to like there's places in Orange County, 30 cents, 40 40 cents and to really kind of calculate that up because when you plug your vehicle into a uh, car, uh, your charger, you, there is a loss of, um, loss of charging efficiency. Of course, you don't get one to one hundred percent. There's like a 15 percent uh, loss at the end of the day. And these, you know, Tesla EVs, they're what, 72 kilowatts, 80 kilowatts. The Model X that we have is 100 kilowatts. And so you can essentially use this calculator to plug it in. But let's say we use like 75 kilowatt. I think the Model Y is around the end. Let's say your electricity cost is 20 cents a kilowatt. To charge this up, it's going to cost you $15 to what, go 200 150 miles, give or take. So it's not like essentially free. But I mean, you shouldn't expect it to free, but it does say it has some cost at the end of the day. But let's say you live in OC where it could be, you know, 35 cents a kilowatt, like on a tiered sliding scale. Now it's $26 a fill up. Of course, that could be cheaper than gas because gas is what, three to four dollars at the end of the day. But as it starts to ramp up kilowatt, as the kilowatt rate starts to ramp up, and as we progress into this time where maybe, you know, all these utilities companies will start to raise up across the board, the the, the solar equation and having solar panel, panels on your roof and paying that upfront cost and kind of weighing it out and hedging your bet, I guess, essentially against inflation over a 20, 30 year period might actually make a lot more sense. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what you thought. Like, what is your satisfaction on charging at home? Of course, if you're charging level one, then that really is going to take a very, very long time, maybe even 24, 48 hours at the end of the day. So 
definitely some stuff. Of course, we're going to make videos about the installation process of our EV and all the different stuff because it's, it's definitely been a process of getting a chart you know, uh, installed. Uh, but of course, we try to get the LA city rebate of $1,000. And so I had to do it kind of the legit way and go through, uh, get permitting and have the city come back to inspect it, to finalize the process and all that uh, gravy stuff. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, we're going to jump into the live stream comments. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Double description is the Patreon link if you want to support the channel. So definitely check it out if you are interested.